Hi there and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jennifer and this is A Country Life. It is December 2nd. <laughs> I had some intentions of doing Vlogmas this year and um, that means that you post some sort of video every single day in December and it's already December 2nd and I haven't even posted anything. So I'm gonna give it a try. We'll see what we can come up with here. But what's happening here today is we're trying to get back into the routine of school. We had intended to do school a little bit last week um, which would have been, you know, Thanksgiving week and, as well as deer hunting week. But I think I did school with Peter one day and I think that was basically it. We just between company and prepping food and just all the things that go along with that, cutting up meat and just everything, we just did not get to school. So what I thought that I would do here today, since, you know, it is December here, uh, I need to take down a few of my Thanksgiving things that I, I started last night taking down a couple of my fall things. I had a fall wreath here, and so I replaced that with this uh, Christmas wreath that I picked up. I think I got that on clearance a couple years ago. And then I did put this kind of like little fake greenery swag here on top of the um, hutch here. <laughs> I did pull out a wreath. I'm not one that tends to bring everything up. I mean, I used to, but in the last number of years, I kind of just go downstairs and I'll have a spot in mind and I go, I need a Christmas decoration for that spot. So I go down, okay, just a minute. I go downstairs, grab whatever it is that I want for that spot. And so I thought I'd hang a wreath on the outside door. I have to fluff this again because it was in a box, but I have one of these door hangers. I'm going to put that up. And then I did bring up, I have just a real small nativity here and that um, ceramic tree there. That's a ceramic tree that my mom had made. So I'm going to use that as part of the nativity scene. And then I have some figurines in here and I'm thinking that I'm going to put it over here. So I got to take all this stuff down, take the pie um, holder down and stuff like that. And I think I'm just going to try to make a little arrangement here. Sam is calling me right now. He is just starting driver's ed. And so he's got some questions about paperwork. So we're gonna see if Sam can place this. Yep, does that fit? Now close the door once and see if it actually closes without scraping or anything. Oh good, okay, that should be okay. I'm gonna turn it around. <laughs> Put, you're figuring it out? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we gotta fluff that a little bit. Maybe it has to go a little more sideways so the bird is, no, maybe the bird is just tipped. Oh, it looks like the bird got a little tipped in storage. Okay, let's see here. How's that? Looks pretty good. Looks like it could use a little fluffing. Yeah, I woke up and I see Christmas decorations on the Where'd you see Christmas I decorations? I saw them like in the living room and in the dining room and then I look and I see pumpkins and like leaves and stuff and I'm like, this has got to get changed. <laughs> well, everything in its time. Okay, that looks good. Yep, I want the orange one. Can you bring that down? Yeah. Thank you. Should I have an onion? Oh no, we have a sack of onions in the basement. Okay. Get down. Oh, I used that up. Okay. Joe, can you bring that over here now? Bring the bench over here. And then... Yes. Bring, yes. You're being, a, you're being a good helper tonight. Or actually, it's not yep, tonight. Yep. It's daytime. Today. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Okay, climb up there. I need the three orange vases. Thank you. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh, Joe, that was funny. Okay, can I have that one? Why are we Thank you. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Nurse. I'm not a nurse. Nurse. I'm not a nurse. Nurse. One of the best um, websites that I've found, and I've been using this website for years and years, is artprojectsforkids.org. It's excellent because, let me see if I can go back here. She, I think her name is Kathy, she is an art teacher. Oh, lollipop! Oh, you like that one? A lollipop, yeah. And so she How's just this? gives all these directions oh, for man. making really, really neat wait, wait, wait. Um, projects. And so you can also search by topic or you can search by grade or by media and um, yeah it's really really fun so Peter um, earmarked the gingerbread house what are you doing with your pencil Joe Mom, you <laughs> and then Maria let's go down yeah. here what did she earmark that she yeah. wanted to do dun, 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 dun. do we miss it Maria what are you doing the snow globe where'd the snow globe go Oh, here we go. Okay, so then the snow globe is someplace... Yes, this was a really fun one. A couple years ago, Sam worked on that one, and you made tons and tons of them. Right there. There we go. So then Maria wanted the snow globe. So and Right, so right here. So then she links to her PDF, and you can print this out, and it just walks them through uh, how to draw and how to add the embellishments and things like that. So super, super great website for just encouraging kids to... Uh, do lots of drawing. Of right, because what the red means is that would be the first line to draw. Then it's black because it's already been drawn. Then you draw the next line and the next line. So you're at this point right here. You aren't are. You? So you need to draw these three lines. See, one is a little shorter, then the next one's longer, and the next one's longer. <laughs> so that's your next. Look at real carefully. They kind of go outwards, don't they? Each one's a little bit mm -hmm. longer than the one bef than the one before. Yep. Joe decided to get in on it too and make a snow globe. Peter's working on his gingerbread house over there. Like that? Each one's a little longer. Yep. I, think, it, Mom. I think you're going to want to stretch Mom. them so they come out just a little bit past the snow globe, though, right? There you go. Yes, and that's Joe's. It's looking so good. I tend to share a lot of food with you guys, and so I just, I'm just i in the kitchen here, and I thought I'm just going to give you a little rundown of kind of what's been going on. So uh, Christmassy-wise today, you saw that we just sort of uh, set up a few Christmas decorations. I think we even brought a few more things up that I didn't film, but... Anyway, we just kind of took down the fall stuff and brought up just a few Christmas things just to kind of get us started here. Now I'm in the kitchen. We did, I did have to take, <clears throat> I did have to take Sam to driver's ed. And so, and that goes four to six, which is right, you know, kind of over that supper hour. It's going to work out really well though, because Sam, Warren is actually going to go pick Sam up. And so that lets me get supper ready. So that as soon as they walk in, we can have supper. But here's what we're doing. Oven fried chicken. And I'm going to make mashed potatoes and gravy and corn. And we may have some salad as well. One of the things that I've been doing is having a monthly meal plan. And even though I'm kind of grocery shopping this month week by week, I'm still going to do the same thing and have a monthly plan. I already have that all written out. And I will share that in the description box below. There will be like a link where you can go and print it off if you want to see what we're going to have for supper all the, all the nights this month. So what I like to do is just kind of have like a little theme throughout the month. So I kind of have an idea of what types of food we're going to be cooking on what day of the week. And so Monday nights is going to be comfort classics. And this is just like a very comfort classic meal. So I'm going to melt this stick of butter in this pan. I have 12 chicken thighs. You can use any kind of chicken you like. Sorry for the weird shadows here. Um, there we go. That's going to be better if I close the cupboard door. And from there, I just have a grocery sack here. I have a cup of flour. I'm going to put two teaspoons of paprika in there and two teaspoons of salt and a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper. I'm going to shake my chicken all around. 
Once the butter is melted, I'm going to lay the chicken skin side down first. I'm going to bake that at 400 degrees for 30 minutes, then take it out, turn the chicken over uh, so the skin side is up, and bake it another 30 minutes, and it's going to be done. It is the most tender chicken. It's so good, and it's just, it just has good flavor, and you crisp up that crust, or you know, just makes a nice crispy skin, and it's just so good. So that's what we're going to do. Um, but I wanted to show you guys quick. A number of years ago, I transferred all of like my cooking style spices to a spice drawer, and it was really hard. I was always like pulling them out. Okay, see you later, Amber. I was always having to pull them out, and so what I did is I just started labeling them, and it works really, really nice. I have a couple Sharpies on hand. Uh, I had a silver one for marking like the black ones, but I don't know, I lost that. So now I just, if I have a black one, I just mark it with some tape and uh, just label everything. It makes it really easy to find what I'm looking for and, and to know what I'm out of too. So just wanted to show you guys that. Since I have about 25 minutes before the chicken has to go into the oven, um, I'm gonna get some cookies uh, whipped up here. All right, it's been a while since I've had kids in the kitchen here. I I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've kind of changed up a little bit of my filming style just because um, YouTube has been getting really, really funny with all of the COPPA and the FTC um, regulations and everything, but we'll make an exception today, won't we? Yes, Joe's in the kitchen. And can you put a whole scoop of that baking soda in there for me? You gotta scoop it and then scrape it. Use your right hand. No, nope, use your right hand. Scoop it even bigger. There you go, make a big scoop and then scrape it, just like you did. Okay, put that whole thing in there. Good job, oh. Joe. Nice. Oh my gosh, that's so sick. That was ser serious? Yes. Really? Are you we are gonna make some cookies. Cookies. Can you put one scoop of that in there too? That's salt. Just a small scoop. We don't need it overflowing. A oh, little bit more. There you go. Put that in. Um, M and M. Christmas M and M cookies. How does that sound? <laughs> to have every burner and the, and the oven on at the same time because oh my gosh I'm so hot. This is what we're doing for supper tonight. I just uh, made up some frozen corn, threw in a little butter and some salt in there. I made pan gravy. That is a really fast way to just make up some quick gravy. Especially after you make something like chicken. We're doing mashed potatoes here. I don't know, they were just so good at Thanksgiving that I was like, we need to do that again. And then I threw out some salad here and some ranch just in case. So, <laughs> and everybody's ready. Let's They're see. hungry. <laughs>